Hi and welcome to the garden. Today I'm just going to be doing a picking and a general maintenance of the garden. Alright, quick tour of the garden for an update. Right here I have a bunch of parsnips coming. Parsnippies. Here we pick a few. Oh, there's the reason for all the holes in my cabbage and brassica vegetables. Those moths. They lay eggs and eat. So I try to get them, but they're quick. The cabbage, uh, this Brussels sprout. I did take all the leaves off so that uh, the sprouts start coming. Still new to growing that, so I'm not sure if that was the right timing or not. Check this out. This is a new vegetable or fruit, or I'm not sure what classification is, called calcions. Could be saying that incorrectly as well. But they're little... Let's see if I can find a bigger one here. There we are. They're little like half watermelon, half um, cucumber. Anyway, that's what they look like inside. Taste a little lim limey too. But they're not bad. You can eat them like that. You can pickle them. Anyways, this is something new in my garden this year. It is grown on a vine. So you need it something to grow. Next year I'll have to give it, do it again, but give it something bigger to grow on because it's definitely overflowing on this. And then they grow from here. You see that's probably a female one. And then they grow. Something like that. And then when they're the size of the one I broke open and showed you, that's when you pick them. You pickle them, you can eat them raw. So this is something new to my garden this year. I was trying to mix it up and do new stuff, do experiments, see what I can do. I don't know if you can see her, but there's a hummingbird in my garden. She's over at my pea plants right now. Don't want to move because she was over at these flowers earlier. So, we'll see. She's over there now. Look at my tomato plant. This is huge. It's almost as tall as me. This is my giant tomato plant. Some coming in there. But those are still small compared to what they normally are. Let's see what's down here. There's a couple ones. Oh, there's a big one coming. We'll see how big she gets. Dill looks like it's almost ready to be harvested. Hey guys, so sometimes I do experiments in the garden to see, based on research and stuff I see, whether it's on the internet or word of mouth, you know, sometimes there's good sources on the internet and sometimes there's not. Sometimes you're like, oh, that's a good idea, I'll try that. So what I tried this year, I did something with my peppers. I topped some of them when they're really young seedlings, and they say that makes a nice big hardier bush and it should help produce more peppers. So I'll show you some, some that I've topped and some that I have not and we'll see what they look like as far as fruit production. So right over here, I have some hot peppers that I topped. So you can see it's kind of like a nice, bigger bush, but it's still pretty low to the ground, but I am getting plenty, plenty of peppers. This one too, I have picked this one already. And this one. So it's a nice, beautiful bush it's spread out more and it's producing a good amount of fruit or peppers, whatever you want to. Okay, and there's still lots coming. 
So as far as fruit production, I'd say that was a success. Now here's one I didn't do anything with, and I just put it in the ground, or a couple over here. We try to get the sun out of your eyes. So this one, I didn't do anything with. I just planted it. It's got one pepper growing on it so far, and it's kind of more tall than filled out. Okay, this one too. This one kind of bifurcated it from its main stem on its own, but not a lot of fruit protection on those ones. This one, again, was one I, I clipped, and you see some good production on it. So I don't know whether it's true or not, but so far in this experiment, I see that uh, helping them out by cutting them up when they're young, tip topping them when they're young, seems to be helping a little bit with fruit protection. Sweet potatoes growing. Looking pretty good. That's another new thing this year. Uh, I haven't been successful in the past trying sweet potatoes, so I'm very curious. It looks pretty good, except for till a little some potato bugs got into there too, but so far so good. Tomato plant coming. I need to do some trimming as you see at the bottom. Some leaves are turning yellow, so it probably, this garden needs some water and fertilization. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I probably won't be doing that by hand today. Some tomatoes coming. Can't believe my cucumbers took off quite a bit in the last few days. Well, there's still lots of blooms coming. Pretty good growth on that one. Couple cukes coming. Some pepper plants. A huge tomato plant. Gonna have lots of tomatoes here soon. Got lots of green. There's another pepper plant that I didn't do anything with and it's barely got any fruit. So I want to say topping the peppers is a good way to go. And look, some of my flowers, other flowers have popped. There's a nice marigold. This flower plant right here is called a Cosmo. And I will definitely be planting that. This is my first year planting it. It is just gorgeous. I keep referring to it because I'm loving it. Just loving it. Look at all those beautiful flowers. Well, it's been another great day of picking beans. I thought they were getting close to being done, but it looks like there's a second uh, growth coming on them. Have a look. All these flowers still yet to come. And purple ones coming. Lots, lots to come still. Which is awesome. I just picked a whole container. I find when I pick my beans, some like to hide. So, oh, there's some more hiding. So I tend to walk around twice picking. And sometimes 
one catches me from the corner of my eye. But I think I got all that's ready for today. All right. Pea picking time. I think they're pretty near being done. I'm going to have to really go through this uh, little pea plant and uh, see what we can find and what we can save and what keeps growing. But it looks like some of it is dying off. Some weeds in there too. Oh, some new growth. There's some nice sturdy ones still. All right, we'll have a pick in. We'll have a, have a look after. This side looks really good. But the back and in the middle in there might need to be a clean back. All right, guys, that's another picking day in the garden. Another beautiful day for picking. Stay tuned for the next video and for some pictures or video of what I had for harvest. A nice big salad pick today, some huge amount of purple beans and some green ones in there too. That was a little unexpected. I was figured that those were almost done, but bonus. So thanks for watching.